Okay, to import data from an Excel spreadsheet is a two-step process. First of all, we're going to convert the Excel spreadsheet into a comma-separated value file, or CSV, and then import that directly into RStudio. So to start off with, here is an example um, Excel spreadsheet. We're going to open that in Excel. Okay, now, in Excel, a couple of things to notice. What you'd really ideally want is that each column is a variable that's measured and each row is an individual. So that's the best form to get stuff into data frames in R. So to first of all export this as a CSV. You go File, Save As, and here in the format you choose CSV, give it an appropriate name, so here Data CSV and click Save. It will complain because it says you lose some formatting. That's fine. Just continue it. All done. Now close Excel. Okay, next we're going to open our studio. Okay, once we've opened our studio, we want to go to Tools, Import Dataset from Text File. Now we choose the file, the CSV that we just did. Click open and it will have check. So here's the name it's going to call it, it's going to call it data. Do we have a heading file? Yes, in our input file we have the names of each of the columns, so we have yes. The separator is common, it's detected that fine. And here's what it's going to look like. You can see it's imported fine. So then we just click import. And now you can see we have data there. If we just go data, there you are the data frame all imported in. Now, if you didn't want to use the menu each time to do this, we can actually just write the commands directly. So if we go to new script file. Now, first of all, we have to be um, where our studio can see the file that we're going to import. So if you look down here, when it says console, it says at the moment it's looking at my Dropbox. We want to change that so it looks at the um, desktop. That's easy enough to do. If we go over to files, we can go to desktop, so there you can see the file that we've just got. And then in more, we can just do set as working directory. And now if we go back, you can see that I'm looking at desktop. And now I can just write the command data. And if I want to read in a CSV, we use read.csv. Then in quotations, I give the name of the file, which is data CSV. If I now run that, that does exactly the same as the menus. If I look at data, there's the commands. That's it. All done. Bye-bye.